everyone. My name is Kim Velez. I am a conscious life and success coach, and I had the amazing privilege of being a trauma therapist for well over 10 years. And now I do this. I coach, I help people all over the world level up their self-concept, get the love life of their dreams, get the bank account of their dreams, just basically get everything of their fucking dreams. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure you like, share, and subscribe. All right, so we are jumping in to this because a lot of you don't know this. A lot of you don't know this. And what I'm going to do, so I have my phone here. I actually pulled up. I literally just did this. I Googled the definition of persistence. So I'm going to read you a couple because I think it's going to click. It's really going to stick of why we persist in the affirmations other than obviously we're reprogramming our mindset, but why we persist in knowing that what we want is ours. And a lot of people struggle when 3D reality doesn't conform, when they keep seeing the opposite, when nothing looks like it's moved or shift. I've been there when everything's crumbling, when it's all going to fucking shit. I've been there. And that's where a lot of people struggle. A lot of people don't persist. A lot of people take cue from the 3D reality and then they falsely say, oh, look, this means it's not working. Oh, look, this means I'm not getting what I want. And that's why you don't get what you want. So let's look at these definitions of persistence. One says, to continue steadfastly or firmly in some state, purpose, course of action, or the like, especially in the spite of opposition. Another definition of persistence is to last or endure tenaciously, Um, to be insistent in a statement, request, or question. Another one says, to continue to exist past the usual time or to continue to do something in a determined way, even when facing difficulties or opposition. And finally, the last one, I'll read two more. Uh, This one says, when someone persists, they keep going or hang on. If you want to finish a marathon, you have to persist and keep running no matter how many blisters you have. To be obstinately repetitious, incident, insistent, or tenacious, to refuse to give up. Okay, I think we get the hint. So the power of persisting is because you did not give up on what you say you're worth worthy of having. You didn't give up on reprogramming a belief system in you that makes you know the old belief system that you're replacing with the new one is the one you actually want so you didn't give up in reprogramming that just because you were faced with opposition in 3d just because reality has not caught up with you yet if you hold the vision meaning you hold the new story of you and you hold the desire the outcome what it is that you want the chief aim as neville says and you persist in that internally, and you keep doing it even when 3D reality shows you opposite, at some point, the reflection will change. When the internal changes outside will change. Now there's the time delay. I already did a couple videos on that, and that's important to be okay with. And again, anyone who's not okay with any form of time delay, to me, they're just in an old self-concept and They're not really connected to the wish fulfilled version of themselves. They're not getting what this whole game is. And they're just trying to hurry up and get something on the outside so they feel better on the inside. And they're not going to keep it. That's just point blank facts. We've all been there. This is why these channels exist. Because that is not how you manifest the life of your dreams. That's how you can manifest certain things in. But then you manifest them going out. That's how you don't get the outcome you actually want. You just keep rinsing and repeating old cycles. So... You have to stop looking at your 3D as truth. Like if your sales go lower or they're not what you want, you don't sit there and look at that and say, oh my God, things are going to shit. I'm going to go bankrupt. You know, my business is going to whatever. Like you don't say a story like that. Instead you go, oh, that's okay. This isn't normal. This isn't usual for me. Here's what's happening instead. Thank goodness that all this money is coming to me. Thank goodness that this is over with. And now all I'm doing is seeing and you know, experiencing massive amount of sales or whatever, right? Like you get the gist, you go on and on and on about the story you prefer and your self-concept in relation to it. Do you see yourself as someone who's worthy of having money? Do you see yourself as someone 
who it's easy for them to accumulate wealth and abundance? Do you see yourself as someone who's worthy to accept it and receive it and like have it now that this is who you are? You're worthy of $500 million. You're worthy of, you know, $50,000 a month. You're worthy of, uh, you know, being a multimillionaire, whatever it is, having a life of freedom. Do you see yourself as worthy of that? Is it easy for you when you are thinking about your life and you see people spending money and you see the kinds of cars and houses you want and clothes and things like that, what's your initial reaction? Are you looking at it with judgment and anger and frustration? Or are you like, yes, this is me. This is what's happening to me. I'm so happy they have success because mine's on its way. Like, you're really gonna be able to learn a lot about you and understand what your dominant state is um, based off your triggers or if you're not triggered. So pay attention to what's going on in you and then you persist in the new story that supports the reality of your dreams. Same thing with specific persons, same thing with love. Do you know you're worthy of uh, somebody actually choosing you and committing fully to you? Do you know that you're worthy to have a beautiful, loving relationship that's easy? Do you know that love is easy? Can love be easy for you? Like if you don't know these things, then you have to change them because that means you have a story that says the opposite. And if you don't know that someone can show up different for you, that's because you don't believe that you're worth someone wanting to change for. So you have to really understand what's going on with you and you persist in the story. So when you start claiming a new story of self-concept, you start claiming the new story of specific person or claiming the new story of love or things coming into your reality that you prefer to experience rather than what you have been and it doesn't shift or you get a little couple trickles in and then everything could go to shit, right? You could get blocked all of a sudden. You could get uh, just, I don't know, like a really negative reaction or just something really negative pops up. So many of you, if not the majority of you, will look at that and say, oh my God, it's not working. What happened? Once I started changing my story, now it got worse. And it's like, no, that's not the truth. If you understand time delay, then you understand that 3D was still playing out. It was still unfolding with all your shitty negative thinking, with all your months, if not years, of your negative self-worth talk in you, your negative self, you know, or talk about uh, relationships and specific, ah, I can't talk, a specific person and what's going on, that was still playing out just because you shifted internally focus, you know, changing your focus and changing your story doesn't mean that it's dominant yet. It doesn't mean that 3D reality has caught up to it yet. So that's why you persist in opposition. You look at that evidence, no matter how negative it is, and you say what you want instead. You keep being the version of you that's worthy to receive this, that it's so happening now, that you're excited it's now, that this is who you are now that everything is okay, that all of this is going away and what you want is actually replacing it. Like you create the story. That's how you persist in the face of opposition. You don't give up. And so many of you give up. And it's not about giving up trying to make something happen on three, in the 3D reality. It's about not giving up on you and changing any beliefs and programming that are causing you to live in fear, that are causing you to live in a version of you that feels unseen, that feels not good enough, that feels not chosen, that feels not valued, that feels like they're not worthy of the life of their dreams, whether love, all of it, weight, money, success, uh, fulfillment, friendships. I mean, we can go on and on and on. So that's what the work is. That is what the power of persistence is because the more you dwell internally and you give your focus and attention to your mind and the reality you desire and the version of you that is worthy of that, the version of you that's in that, the version of you that's already on the other side, that is living the life that you desire, that it's already yours, and you give less attention to the opposite that's showing up out here, you're fucking winning. And at some point out here will fall and something new will show up. That's why you persist because what you want will show up. And it can be different times for different people. Everybody's different. But that's why you don't give up. You keep going because if you're going to wake up every day anyways, you might as well be focusing on the reality of your dreams and becoming the version of you that knows it's all inevitable, becoming the version of you that feels like it's already yours because then you're not even going to need it because you're just going to be this version of you that's like so lit up and, and just feeling a hundred times different in a good way. And then what you want will just be coming in automatically. Like that's the power of persistence. 
So you keep focused internally in a steady state of what you desire, who you are in relation to it, what you get to have. You change your, your story of you, your self-concept in relation to what you want. You change your story of the fucking world. And then you change your story if it's a specific situation. And you do it over and over until you know what is truth for you. I don't care what shows up out here. What shows up out here is an afterthought. It's a reflection of you. And there's a time delay. So eventually the timing is going to catch up. And there will be no more time delay. Well, in the sense that it will be a time delay even you receiving your manifestation because you've been focusing on it already. Whether it was a day, it was weeks, it was months, it was a year, it was two years, it's going to show up and it's going to come into fruition. That's why you don't give up. I mean, what is, the, what is the other choice? You just sit and stew in your old thinking, negative inner self-talk, low self-worth talk, low self-concept talk, you know, you have a shitty life kind of talk, because then that's all you're going to keep manifesting in. So the time delay happens. It's just reality, because if not, then everyone would have everything they wanted like this, and none, none of these channels would be open. <laughs> Everybody would be living their fucking dream life that it knew anything about this, um, and we see even the teachers, all of us teaching this, don't have everything they want. And the ones that do, it's because it took, they didn't get it all in 24 hours. Some of it took years for them to get. Some of it took months. They all got it at different times. That's why you just don't give up. You're creating your dream life every day. You're working on the story of you, and you're working on the story of your life internally. And you're becoming that version that is living it already. And then it will appear. That's why you don't give up, babe. So power persist persistence is real. Persisting means you don't give up despite opposition. So don't give up.